Hi, um, thanks for having me here. Um, I'm going to be talking about talking to computers, but it's actually probably going to be a little bit more like um, yelling at computers, but we'll get into that. So I'm Nicole. Um, as Pablo said, I'm an artist and a programmer. Uh, my day job is I work at the Google Creative Lab as a creative technologist, and I also do my own projects. I also teach at um, NYU ITP. Um, and I'm, I like to use technology to make art about technology. Um, specifically, these days I'm pretty interested in technology as it exists right now and also our expectations of technology and how it should work. Um, I'm particularly interested in this weird space in between, which I think is often informed by science fiction. It's pretty interesting to me. So I'm going to show you a few projects that are related to the theme of um, technology today versus expectations of technology. And then we'll get more specifically into yelling at computers. So this is a project I made called the True Love Tinder Robot. Let's play a video. Hello, human. I am the True Love Tinder Robot. I'm going to help you find love. You can trust me because I am a robot. Let's begin. Look at this person. Swipe right. Judge this person. Swipe left. I can read your feelings. No match here. Determine if this person has any value. Nope. Can you see yourself spending your life with this person? You're not very picky, are you? Go away, now. Please take your hands off the sensors. Goodbye and good luck with your love life. Okay. Uh, another project I made is called The Best Art, which was a computer algorithm that would objectively calculate the best art project to make at any given moment in time. So it would calculate that project, and then it would print it out on a piece of paper like this. And I actually ended up um, making a bunch of the projects that it told me were the best art projects. Uh, so, for example, here's one that says, 11.28 um, p.m., March 22nd, 2017. Good evening, human. Clear sky tonight. Given the current art index of negative 0.0005, I have calculated the best art for the current state of the world with a rating of 0.0. .0. Execute the following. Produce a domestic surveillance that feels blank. Computer. So, on the right is is the uh, wonderful artwork that I made in response to this prompt, which is just a, a webcam pointed at a, an empty wall. It's very deep. Um, here's another one uh, where it said, build three photocopied typewritten pages in opposition to trucks. So on the right, I, I made these, uh, paper, <laughs> these pages that says things like, trucks are lousy, trucks are appalling, trucks are uh, horrendous. It's very offensive to trucks. And here's another one. So this one said, create a carrot that evokes larger social issues. So I made this salad that says, bees are dying at an alarming rate. OK, and so here's a project that is definitely the worst thing I've ever done. And I'm very sorry about it. Um, it's called Soil and Dick. So in my defense, um, it was me and my two friends, Catherine Pan and Chino Kim. And we made this at a, uh, at a hackathon called the stupid shit no one needs and terrible ideas hackathon. So like that's th that's why this happened. Um, basically, you would you would type in the Soylent mantras, and then you know things kick off this chain of events. Uh, and it's, yeah, it tastes very bad. Um, these are actually like the things you typed are actually weirdly enough like marketing copy from Soylent. Very interesting. Um, the best thing about Soylent Dick though is that we threw it in the garbage at the end of the day. 
Okay, so you can probably see from some of these projects that uh, a theme that I'm particularly interested in is what it feels like to let computers make personal decisions for us. I mean, it's something that happens all the time every time you use a computer or you use your phone. There's some algorithm that's calculating what you should do, but I think it's interesting to take that into these sort of very obvious um, or you know, exaggerated examples of that and see what that actually feels like. Um, and recently I've been doing a lot of work with voice technology and as sort of an extension of the previous point, I'm interested in what it, in what it feels like to talk to computers that can understand us. Um, so a project I made this summer for an exhibition in uh, Melbourne is called Enhanced.Computer, which is also the URL. So it's a cyberpunk voice technology game um, and you might be familiar with this trope that's in movies and TV shows, especially in science fiction or police shows. Uh, I'll show you a, a video um, from YouTube of, of this. Okay, now let's get a good look at you. Hold it, run that back. Wait a minute, go right. There, freeze that. Full screen. Okay, freeze that. Tighten up on that wheel. Vector in on that guy by the back wheel. Zoom in right here on this spot. With the right equipment, the image could be enlarged and sharpened. What's that? It's an enhancement program. Can you clear that up any? I don't know. Let's enhance it. Enhance section A6. I enhance the detail and... I think there's enough to enhance. Release it to my screen. I enhance the reflection in her eye. Let's run this through video enhancement. Edgar, can you enhance this? Hang on. Working on this reflection. Someone's reflection. The reflection. There's a reflection of the man's face. The reflection. There's a reflection. Zoom in on the mirror. You can see a reflection. Can you enhance the image from here? Can you enhance him right here? Can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? Can we enhance this? Can you enhance it? Hold on a second, I'll enhance. Zoom in on the door. Times 10. Zoom. Move in. More. Wait, stop. Stop. Pause it. Rotate us 75 degrees around the vertical, please. Stop. Go back to the part about the door again. Got an image enhancer that can bitmap? Maybe we can use the Pradeep Send method to see into the windows. This software is state of the art. The eigenvalue is off with the right combination of algorithms. He's taken illumination algorithms to the next level, and I can use them to enhance this photograph. Lock on and enlarge the z-axis. Enhance. 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 Freeze and enhance. Um, so I thought, what, what did... <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to actually make this? Uh, we have the technology, sort of, not, not really. Um, but I made this thing, enhance.computer. So this is what it looks like. Basically, you go to the website, and um, it shows you this uh, beautiful interface. And it tells you that, basically, you are a detective. And um, the crime-predicting AI has detected that someone is going to do something illegal soon. So basically, your job is to thwart the crime by finding a secret code in an image. Um, and you can use voice commands like zoom in, zoom out, enhance, all those things on the left side. So this is like what it looks like. <laughs> and something that was interesting to me, um, this is the first project I've made that was like a game that people could play. And I don't know why it didn't occur to me, but um, you know, when I released it, people actually played it. And not only that, but there's this thing that happens with video games where people make YouTube videos or Twitch streams of themselves playing it. And people did that with Enhanced.Computer. And that was very nerve wracking to me. Uh, but it was also very interesting to actually see people play it. And so I've also made a little video of some of the people playing this game. Oh, before that, actually, so um, William Gibson tweeted enhance.computer, which means it's like certifiably cyberpunk, so this is a, an accomplishment. Okay, so here's the video. Uh, let's play enhanced computer. Welcome to a browser game called enhance.computer. Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa. Tiramisu desu. Kyo wa enhance.computer. Uh, let's begin the investigation. Agent Abaya. <laughs> Here we go. Zoom in. Move up. 
Go up. Enhance. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Enhance. Move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Zoom out. I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay, the code is P R X R E. I've been saying that. <laughs> Where is it? Move, move right. Ah! Down. I don't know why I'm addicted to this right now. I don't even like this. The way. The code is Y D G H. The code. Yay! F W V U. The code is M C N D. It is easy as that, folks. <laughs> Love this game. Love it. Yeah, so it was really fun seeing people play it, but you can also tell that it doesn't exactly work perfectly. Like the things that they said were not always perfectly reflected in the speech recognition. Um, and I want to show you a video of actually, definitely by far the best video of somebody playing this game. Begin investigation. Okay. Enhance. 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 Fuck. Enhanced. 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 Te lo estoy diciendo la computadora. Enhanced. Enhance. Enhance. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, so I feel, I feel really bad about this guy, but also it's amazing. Um, so I'm also interested in what it feels like to talk to computers that can't understand us, because, I mean, if you... You know, if you use voice technology with uh, Alexa or Google Home or with Siri or anything like that, it's we're still in this like weird space where it kind of works. It works pretty well for for many things, but it also like totally doesn't work for other things. And that's that's something that's going to be changing as the technology gets better. Um, so again, it comes back to this thing of like, what is the technology that exists right now? Like, what is that speech recognition actually like? I mean, in the YouTube video of all those, like, all that enhancing stuff, like, the ones that were speech recognition, of course, that always works perfectly in the movies. Um, and what are our expectations of how the technology should work? Um, and I think that people actually don't have very high expectations of new technology, unless it's something they've seen in science fiction, and then their expectations are, like, totally messed up. Um, and for me, Enhance, part of the sort of art project side of Enhance.computer is that it is kind of broken. Not like on purpose, but I'm just using the built-in speech recognition in Chrome. And you can kind of see that it doesn't necessarily work perfectly, but it does kind of work too. Um, and that's also why, to me, Enhance.computer is actually more of an art project and not so much a video game. Um, even though people were, you know, making Let's Play videos and stuff, I think a video game is something that exists within like more of a, a specific industry and a cultural framework. Um, whereas Enhanced on Computer is kind of broken in a way that is more about art, in my opinion. Um, another thing that that has been interesting about Enhanced on Computer is that a lot of people told me they they were playing it like 
in their offices, just like screaming at a computer in front of all their coworkers. And I kind of like that playing it is like inherently a performance. And you know, people said that it's very, it makes them feel like, makes them feel like they're in a movie, but also makes them feel like really stupid um, doing it in front of everybody. And, and I like that. Um, and you know, I've found that people actually really enjoy yelling at computers. Um, and I think right now is a really good time to make creative work with voice technology. Because um, people are getting more and more used to talking to computers, but we usually do it for practical things like, you know, turn on the lights or tell me the weather, um, play this music. But there are more tools coming out now for developers um, and for artists to do things that are a little more creative. So for me, like when it comes to voice technology, that gap in between the state of technology and that expectation of technology is like where the juicy stuff lies. And that's it. Thank you.